Shameek Moore, Zach Galifianakis, Robert Wilson. I really don't know. Um, can I phone a friend? <laughs> Lifeline? Hello? Hey, I'm Haley Steinfeld, and today I am playing Who Said That with L. So, I will be given a line from a movie or a TV show, and I have to guess which of my past or present co-stars said it. Uh, before we get started, make sure you check out Dickinson Season 2 on Apple TV Plus now. If it's got hair, I can write it. If it's got a beat, I can dance to it. Okay, John Cena, Woody Harrelson, or Jane Krakowski. <laughs> I, I have no idea what this is from. I feel like that's something that could come out of any of their mouths. Um, but I'm gonna go with Jane. Uh, it's got hair on it, I can write it. It's got a beat, I can dance to it. Hold that, John Clark. One of my favorite memories with Woody, we were shooting a scene, um, one of my favorite scenes actually that I've ever been a part of uh, in a film called The Edge of 17. And the two of us were experiencing a very serious laughing fit. Um, by serious, I mean it was severe. And it was just kind of the best thing ever. And, and what set it off was hearing the director off screen behind camera, start to laugh. And then it was just like game over for the two of us. And the worst part was, sorry, Woody, it was on his coverage and I was the one that couldn't keep it together. But he's a wonderful friend. And that was, again, one of my favorite scenes and, and overall experiences. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna finish him like a cheesecake. <laughs> Ella Belinska, Esther Dean or Rebel Wilson. This one comes from Rebel Wilson, no doubt. That's it, hands down, that's the answer. Tell me that's the answer. Great. I'm gonna kill him, I swear. I'm gonna finish him like a cheesecake. Rebel is so much fun and so hilarious. And one thing I found so fascinating about her, every morning when we were in the trailer getting ready for work, she would be writing sort of either alt lines or um, just coming up with the, the best dialogue uh, in addition to what we, we already had on the page. And uh, she kept everyone, including myself, on their toes 24 hours a day, anytime we were working um, and not working. She just has the best sense of humor and she's really a wonderful person. Well, I got her number. How do you like them apples? Matt Damon, Kristen Wiig, or Adam Levine? Well, I got her number. Oof. It's either Matt or Kristen. Um, how do you like that now? I feel like I can hear it. Um, uh, is it Matt? Yes, it's Matt. Do you like apples? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to say I feel like people would know this, uh, that he's just an amazing person and my God, unbelievably talented as we know. That's uh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite Matt Damon movies. And I just, I don't know, I feel so lucky that I was able to learn from him on my very first movie. Uh, and he's just a wonderful family guy. Um, and that whole experience for me on my first movie, True Grit, uh, I had some of the best people in the world take me under their, their wing and, and Matt was one of them. So very grateful for him. You can't change who your parents are. The only thing you can change is how you choose to deal with that. Anna Kendrick, Jeff Bridges, or Brittany Snow. You can't change who your parents are. Is it Anna? I don't know what it's from. You can't change who your parents are. The only thing that you can change is uh, how you choose to deal with that. Anna's great. I walked into the Pitch Perfect series having been a huge fan of the first one. And I remember I had a very similar approach to um, the whole experience as my character, Emily Junk, uh, just being a true fan of all of the Bellas and the everything that I was about to uh, dive into. I was, I was very over eager and very excited. And I remember I saw Anna before we started shooting, um, but we both knew that I had gotten the part. Um, and so we had a little moment of, excitement and uh, 
a few weeks later, we were on set and in crazy rehearsals, dancing and singing and doing everything we could possibly do that didn't feel like work, which was the best part of that whole thing. Hey guys, you ready to let the dogs out? Shameek Moore, Zach Galifianakis, Robert Wilson. I really don't know. Um, can I phone a friend? <laughs> Lifeline? Hello? I'm gonna go with Zach Galifianakis. Really? Dope! <laughs> what is that from? Hey guys, you ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? <laughs> let the dogs out, you know, like, who let the dogs out, who? Who brought this guy along? Oh, I know. like the minute I said that, I, I knew it. Okay. I've always wanted to work with him. I've always been a huge fan. I feel like I've seen every episode of Between Two Ferns. Uh, and yeah, that was that was really fun. And also weird and uncomfortable, but what's an episode of Between Two Ferns uh, that, that is not? Uh, but he's wonderful. And um, I'm so in awe of his ability to like laugh without smiling. He can do that really well. Anyway, big fan. <laughs> I'm taking my pants off. I don't know what you're doing. Anna Barishnikov, uh, Elizabeth Banks, or Ed Westwick. I think it's Anna. Is it Anna? Yes, I'm killing this. The movie is so beautiful, but as I am very much more in the headspace of Dickinson, it does feel like something Lavinia might say, especially with where she's at in season two, but I love that line. <laughs> I don't know what terrible things you've done in your life up to this point, but clearly your karma is out of balance to get assigned to my class. Kevin Costner, Mark Ruffalo, or Viola Davis? Viola Davis? Damn. Good morning. I don't know what terrible things you've done in your life up to this point, but clearly your karma is out of balance to get assigned to my class. I'm Professor Annalise Keating, and this is Criminal Law 100, or as I prefer to call it, How to Get Away with Murder. How to Get Away with Murder. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's exactly where my head is at. Maybe they're scared that if they teach us the way the world works, they'll be afraid we'll take over. Give me the options, but I got a feeling I know who said that. Keira Knightley, Kristen Stewart, or Haley Steinfeld. Imagine I'm like, Keira Knightley. Haley Steinfeld as Emily Dickinson in Dickinson on Apple TV Plus. That's who said it. Check me out, I'm a man. <laughs> I do what I want. I go where I want, I have the right to vote, I can legally own property. What are they so afraid of? Maybe they're scared that if they teach us how the world works, we'll figure out how to take over. The language on Dickinson is quite complex. It's, also, it's very modern, but um, obviously stemming from Emily's poetry, which feels very modern, but um, doesn't at times. I've had a, a bit of a challenge at times kind of wrapping my head around around that dialogue um, when it comes to memorizing it, I guess you could say. Tattoo on the lower back might as well be a bullseye. Samuel L. Jackson, Vince Vaughn, or Sophie Turner. Oh man. Uh. Vince Vaughn? Yes! I guess it's like a weird association I can make with seeing the person say it, but I can't put my finger on where they say it. It's just a matter of trying to get it together. Tattoo on the lower back. Might as well be a bullseye. Vince Vaughn introduced me to um, something called Whirly Ball, which I had obviously never heard of before that, but it's basically you're on a basketball court, an indoor basketball court, you're in bumper cars with like lacrosse sticks and a softball and you have to get the with all of those things the ball in the net while bumping into other people it is very entertaining and very fun and i recommend it if it's something you feel you can do safely um it gets competitive and it gets it can get out of hand vince vaughn is a very competitive person that i learned during whirly ball <laughs> you can't get anywhere in three seconds you're setting me up for a loss already ella hunt rebel wilson kristen wick Okay, here's the thing. I feel like it's rubble, but I already got one that was rubble, therefore I feel like you wouldn't do that to me again. But I... I'm gonna go with rubble. It's wrong, isn't it? Uh... Ugh! Kristen Wiig? You have three seconds to get back to your seat. Oh, 
You can't get anywhere in three seconds. Well, you better try. You're setting me up for a loss already. Damn, now I can see it. For some reason, I, I, I felt like it could have been Rebel when we were like about to jump off a yacht or something. I, I feel like I did pretty good. I guess I didn't necessarily nail. I, look, the game is who said it. And I got who said it, all right? It's not who said it and where did they say it. Okay, thank God. Um, but I think I did pretty good as far as the, you know, who said it part. Thank you so much for watching me play Who Said It with Elle. Uh, for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Elle.